Hi everybody, Denise Friend with Pampered Chef. We're cooking with style today with my Pampered Chef items here. Um, we are making cheese steak stuffed peppers, kind of hard to say today for dinner. And I wanted to get on and show you some of my favorite products to um, make this amazing meal quick and easy, okay? And clean up a breeze. First thing, over here in our nonstick skillets, I have um, some thinly sliced sirloin steak. And I'm just frying this up a little bit here. But let me show you about these skillets, okay? Um, I, like I said, it's our non-stick skillets. And um, and that one, I'm come over here and I have some mushrooms in a different pan. Yes, normally you would um, saute the mushrooms in with the steak, but some of us are not big mushroom fans, so we do it separate. But let me show you about these pans, okay? You see we have the handle here. This one does not have a handle. Um, our handles are removable for two reasons, okay? Reason number one, easy storage. You stack these on top of each other and you place the handle next to it, stores very easily. Also, these can go in the oven. So if you remove the handle, you can put them in the oven. Tell me that's not amazing. And I'm gonna tell you, clean up in, in, in these pans, they clean up like nobody's business, all right? So I'm gonna move the camera a little bit more. I have the small eight inch pan here with the mushrooms. I'm gonna take my handle and it has a little button here. I'm gonna move the button, tip it up a little bit and put it on there and my handle is on. Now, what I'm cooking in here, I wanna go ahead and put in the oven. I'm gonna take the handle and I'm gonna take it off. Set the handle aside and I can get some my oven mitts here. Pick it up, put it in the oven, okay? The big pan, the 12 inch skillet as well, handle comes off, just like that. You can put it in the oven or you can keep it on the stove, just like that. What do you think? Pretty cool, right? Let's come back over here now. Cause the thing I, the tool I wanna show you is um, our scoop loop. Has a big side and a small side. So clean, it makes your cleaning out your peppers super fast and easy. A little sharp on the, on the edges here, around the sides, both of them, because if you're doing a big melon or pepper or something smaller, you just put it in here and you spin it a little bit and there you go, that's it. My pepper's cleaned out. Tell me that's not quick and easy. Done. Look how quick and easy I did those peppers. There you go. All right, that's it, the scoop loop. Melons, peppers, berries, and pumpkins at Halloween time. Clean out, scoop out your pumpkins. And you know what else it does? Come Christmas time, it makes really cute snowman cutouts, right? All right, so I am going to put these peppers in the oven on three at 325 for, I don't know, maybe eight, 10 minutes till they get just a little bit soft. So we're gonna put them in the oven. I have it on my um, stone bar pan here. This one's a little stubborn, it doesn't wanna stay up. So we'll put it in the oven on 325, let them get soft. Then I'm gonna put some Parmesan cheese and steak in here. And then um, some of them I'll put mushrooms for my husband because he likes his mushrooms. And I will bake them in the oven. I will be back as soon as they're done. Okay, so we got the peppers out of the oven. They were in there for about 15, 20 minutes. They are nice and soft. I cut them in half. They're nice and soft. So what I'm doing now is I am placing some Parmesan cheese, excuse my dog, every time I get on, as you guys probably already know, she comes with her toenails clacking. So I have some um, provolone cheese, and depending on how big your peppers are, you can do two pieces, one on the bottom, and then put your filling, and then put one on top. My peppers are a little smaller, so I'm kind of just doing one piece of cheese. 
So I'm just putting my Parmesan cheese here on the bottom. I'm taking the mushrooms for John and putting mushrooms there. And then I decided to fry up some onions. So I'm putting some fried onions here. And then the steak, which looks very good. And I'm putting the steak on top of here. All right, top that with another piece of cheese. And I'm just gonna continue doing this with all of my peppers. So provolone cheese inside the bottom, mushrooms that I fried up already. I'm trying to save it so I can at least give John four. Some onions in there. Steak. And cheese. All right, and then you just do that with all of them. And I'm gonna stick them under the broiler for about five minutes. Here's what they look like right here. Stick them under the broiler for about five minutes and dinner time. All right, so they're done. They were in the broiler for about five minutes. So we're gonna go into the oven here. Look at that, we're gonna take them out. And here they are. Philly cheese stuffed peppers. Tell me those don't look good. And um, I make these uh, several times so I can definitely vouch that they are amazing. amazing. So that's it guys. We are going to go ahead, oops, excuse me about that. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy our dinner and you guys enjoy your day. Um, thanks for joining me. Take care.